please like or dislike the video or leave a comment below. That will allow me to produce better videos and more of them in the future. So one of the comments that I got on the directional scalping video is, can't you automate this? Well, you can fully automate it using Guardian, but if you want to partially automate it because you want to insert a direction into the scalping, uh, then you can certainly do that on the main ladder screen. The thing you need to check first of all is whether this little button here is on or off. So when the cross is through it, it means that none of the global settings are going to apply. And when the cross is not through it, it means all the global settings will apply. So let us apply some. First thing we need to do is we're going to do an offset bet. We're going to offset it by one tick. And what that means is if we put something in at 6.4, it will go in at 6.6. .6. If we go in at 315, it will go in at 32, and if we went in at 12.5, it will go in at 13. So that's what offsetting does. It will offset the, the first bet that you put in the market when it's matched by one tick. So you could do it by 5 or 500, apart from 500 ticks does not exist. But you get the idea. Next thing is we're going to place a fill or kill bet. So if I tick that and do fill or kill delay by 5 seconds, and I click at 5.8, we go. One, two, three, four, five, and then the bet will be cancelled. There you go. So let's do that again. One, two, three, four, five, boom. The bet will be cancelled. Um, and that's what fill or kill does. So if we set that to a large number, 360, that's six minutes, then that sort of replicates what we were trying to do in the directional scalping video. Offset batches is basically, you know, if part of the bet gets matched, will it offset the other part of the bet? So if we do an offset batch of one, it's saying when the whole bet is matched, will it offset the other part of the bet? If we do five, and we're using stakes of ten pound, then what this will do is split it up into lots of two, and then offset it by, uh, by two every time it does it. So I haven't put any uh, particular bias in, into this market here, but what I'm going to do is, I'm just trying to figure out which one we should, we'll, we'll do the second favourite. If I put um, a £10 bet in at 6 points, I'm just looking at it's funny, I can't do a demonstration without looking at the market, and I can see this money here at 6 point eight. that looks completely wrong to me there. Um, so if I go in and put a £10 position in at 6.4, when that £10 is matched, it will suddenly reappear, the closing position will appear at 6.8. It will stay there for six minutes or until such time as we cancel it. So it will just sit there and we can just wait for that position to get matched. There we go. And can you see it quickly put the position back in on the other side. So that's been matched so we can just repeat the process again. I don't know how long that will take to get filled. We're quite some way out. We're over 10 minutes out from this market at the moment, so it'll take a little while um, for these positions to be filled. But hopefully you've got the idea there of, um, of what's going on. If the, if the price comes back down to 6.4, then hopefully we'll get filled, and then we'll offset it at 6.6, .6, and then um, the offset bet will go in automatically. But we don't have to do anything to that. We just have to decide where we're going to place that original order. It could be on both sides. Um, it could be, uh, sorry, in, 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 you could be backing or laying is what I'm trying to say there. I'm going to put something in at 6.6 .6 and we've still got this one in here because, um, there you go, can you see why I did that? If you didn't, rewind the video and have a look again. Um, if uh, that position stays in there, it will stay in there for six minutes. So that's been gradually counting down in the background. If you don't want that position to stay in there, then you can just cancel it and get rid of it. Uh, that doesn't affect any of this automation or any of the stuff that you're doing here. Um, it just dumps that entire position. So that's what I've done there. Because we've already got an order in at 6.6, .6, I don't really want one at 6.4. So there you go. We got matched at 6.6, .6, and you can see Bet Angel put the trade in at 6.8. And we'll just wait for that to be filled. So there you go. It's really simple to do. But the great thing about Bet Angel is you can make it even simpler uh, because we actually have this little star next to this general area here. You can see that we can do um, none, which is how we arrived in this market. Offset bet, offset bet with stop, with trailing stop, with greening, blah, 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 blah. And you can actually create your own as well. Um, so I'd like to show you that. That position's been matched, so we'll put another one in at 6.6. .6. Um, incidentally, if you put a position in at 6.6 .6 and you feel happy it going one, two, three, four, five, six ticks against you, if you right click, 
um, then it, BetAngel will mark that and if the market goes all the way down to this level BetAngel will stop you out of that position so you can put your one click to put your, open your trade here BetAngel will offset and do all of that for you and if you right click below it um, that will determine the, the point at which BetAngel stops out of the market for you there's a little tip for you prices continuing to munch on up at the moment so I'm going to put another order in there and cancel it and I must show you the global settings editor uh, that's one of the things I wanted to show you so if we click on this star here and we'll see what it does it brings up the global settings editor and what we can actually do here is predefine what we're trying to achieve um, with a particular strategy so here I will put directional directional scalping offset and what do we want it to do we want it to place an offset bet we want it to do it one tick above where the price currently is we're going to do a fill or kill bet delay of 360 seconds or six minutes we're going to offset it by batches of five and the odds display is set to reverse that's what we're going to do here we're going to make sure that that is parallel then I can save that and you can see it saves it in this list you can create as many as you like and then I'm going to click on close here and then the magical thing that's happened is that now appears within this pick list so if you want to design or put a strategy specifically around some certain criteria that you want to use in global settings use the global settings editor and then that will appear at the bottom for you so the next time you want to do that strategy you just go up to here click down there and everything will be set up perfectly for you anyhow uh, that's how to semi-automate the directional scalping I showed you the other week I'm going to crack on and trade this market um, but I hope that's been useful for you if you're interested in learning more about BetAngel, its tools and the opportunities they present, then why not visit BetAngel.com today and download a free trial.